we are going to wrap is a cylinder and this could be any object for example a candle or even a jar of jam for example now the th with wrapping a cylinder you have to make sure that um, the ends are short because in order to wrap the ends neatly there can't be any excess material to measure the length of paper you need for your cylinder the main thing you need to keep in mind is as I said the ends and to measure the ends, how much you'll need, um, fold the paper over and the amount should be no more than half the length of the base, like that, on either end. Once you've rolled up your cylindrical object, take it into your hand and I'm just going to show you how to fold the ends. So start by one, start fold by holding one edge down and then just continue folding inward, creasing as you go. And keeping the base edge nice and crisp. Once you've wrapped both ends, uh, place the gift upright and put your length of raffia underneath it. And you want to line up the raffia that will go, it will be tied at the top, and you want to line it up so that the raffia covers right along the seam of your gift. Take two ends of the raffia and tie them at the top securely. So once you've tied the knot securely with the raffia, you can either make a bow with the raffia, just like we have been doing, or you can put on a pre-made bow on the top and attach it like this, whichever the customer likes. And this is how to wrap a cylinder. So that's all for how to wrap basic shapes and objects. Remember, eco gift wrapping is all about having fun, being creative, and providing excellent customer service. It's also a great opportunity to raise awareness about waste reduction during the holidays. On behalf of Toronto Green Community, thank you for watching this training video and for volunteering with our eco gift wrapping program.